and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadie and I'm back at you again with a little sit down chatty video bringing it back to basics literally just me chatting to you like you're one of my friends which you are but I hope you are. <laughs> I did start out with the best intentions of this makeup look being more of a natural work back to school obviously because a lot of us have gone back to school and work but of course in true Sadie fashion it ended up having shimmer eyeshadow on but whatever I hope you still enjoy it of course I'm talking about some very personal stuff to me so be nice um give me a little thumbs up if you enjoy it and yeah subscribe and keep on watching if you want to know how I did this look and me airing all my dirty laundry and problems on YouTube yeah yeah let's get into it uh this face needs help I actually need help also just painting my nails how pretty I feel very vulnerable because they're wet I don't know why I've started filming when they're wet, but I'm just impatient. I want to get chatting. Yeah, we're just going to get ready, you know. We're going to sort this little face out, and I'm going to chat. If you wanted this to be a makeup tutorial, sadly it's not. It's just going to be a video of me moaning about my life and hoping someone listens, someone out there. Although some of you do say that you find my voice soothing or calming, or you listen to me in the background. For those people, this is going to be a dream. It's going to be like ASMR. I will obviously quickly describe what I'm doing so I'm using the Smashbox Oil Control Primer. This is kind of makeup look for like natural, like going back to work, school kind of vibes despite Bojo telling us that we have to go back home. I met mean, literally two weeks ago he was like get back in the office, everyone can go back to work. We were all like woo working nine to five and then now he's like get, get the fuck home, get back home hans and I'm like oh, okay you don't go to work for home for <laughs> What's that song? But yeah, this primer, honestly, it's banging. If I don't wear this, my makeup will slip off. Oil and shine control. I don't know if you've noticed, we've got a little special guest. Woo! Special guest on the channel today, guys. Can I get a zoom in? Let's just zoom in. Let's just make me more insecure than I already am by zooming into the spot. Cute, right? Like, what is going on? The minute, I don't know what it is. The minute I'm stressed, my body reacts in mysterious ways. Also, my ex was coming up and I'm like... I blame men. I just, I just blame men for that. <laughs> the stress I get put through. Got it, eczema. Okay, so the primer is on. Let's sort these spots out. My trusty Bare Minerals little stick. I probably should put it on a brush and not directly onto the spot, but I don't really care. It's probably why I keep getting them. This is the bomb because it's like really nice and thick. So I just do that before. I'm not too fussy with it, but it's like a creamy matte stick. Then we wait for that to dry, put our foundation on, you know. I'm not very good at doing a natural look because I love makeup. And during lockdown, all I've done is like glam, smoky eyes, especially for filming. So then when I went back to the office, I'm like, I, I, don't, I, I don't understand. I'm either homeless or attractive. Like it doesn't, there's no in between for me. So this is going to be a little test. Oh, look at this cup. I love stealing my housemates' cups. Like my cups are so ugly. I just don't have my life together to have nice mugs. It's a really nice little sage green cup. So the tea is, um, I'm a now a working gal. I know, so sad. My dreams of being a famous YouTuber. Well, not, my dreams aren't chatted, but like, my dreams of being a full-time YouTuber. That's what I should say, because you don't know. You never know. Your girl might get famous if some of you actually subscribe. Yeah, I was doing obviously YouTube full time and just everything while I've been on furlough, but I got a call a few weeks ago saying I'm coming back in September, which is fine. I'm ready for it. Obviously, I'm so, so grateful that I still even have a job because I know a lot of people are in really bad financial situations at the moment. So I am, I feel very blessed and lucky, especially because I do really love my job, but obviously it's going to still be a shock to the system going back to work. Like my brain genuinely does not work. But coffee, I haven't got any Red Bull today. Can't be asked to walk down to Costco, boss man works at Costco down the road. I feel like he's my friend, but I don't think he is my friend. He always asks me, he's like, what do you do? What are you doing? Because in the, in the middle of the day, like 3 p.m., I walk down there and buy Red Bull and he's probably like, does this girl actually work? Like, what, what? He's probably confused, boss man's confused, but I'm like, look, I am funding your business by buying this Red Bull, so whatever. Oh, I need to go wet my beauty blender, please excuse me. Shit, my nail varnish. Look at that. They ask if you're fine and you just reply and say you are fine, but you're not really fine and you <laughs> I give up, I give up. I'm gonna just use the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion. It's an ultra long wear one. It's probably not appropriate for work. It's kind of more of a full coverage. But, but, I'm just gonna put a little bit on, you know? Let's just 
blur it out, make it natural, au natural, and it'll be appropriate. I'm back into work now for two weeks, and when I tell you I did not know how to do my job, like I actually felt useless. Like I definitely pride myself on knowing how I, to do my job. Also, if you don't know what my job is, I work in influencer marketing, so basically for a fashion brand, so I work for a menswear one and a female one, and what we do is I just find bloggers that I think will be good at promoting. So I do really love it. It's like what I studied to do, and yeah, I, I really enjoyed the job, but I hate feeling useless at work. Like, I pride myself on being good at my job, and it just... I honestly, when I tell you, I couldn't even do Excel. I did not even know how to merge a cell. I had to, like, email one of my colleagues, like, I'm really sorry. I'm actually an embarrassment. I... Because I just got a promotion in December, and then I'm fully asking one of my colleagues, like, how to use Excel. <laughs> my manager's probably watching this, like regret in that decision oh yeah i think if i blur it out it can be natural but yeah so it's so buzzing i work so much better when i'm in the office like i'm i'm definitely more productive when i'm at home i'm a bit of a slob but i think what i'm gonna do is try like actually wake up and get ready i'm not gonna do makeup every day especially if i'm working from home but i'm definitely gonna make my bed like wear like an outfit like an outfit like this i'm wearing like a little top and jeans like just not pajamas or loungewear because i think it's like a weird mental thing i don't know try it you know some people who like work from home in suits if you use a sponge you're gonna get a more natural it doesn't even look natural i don't know why i'm kidding myself <laughs> i'm probably gonna say this is a back to school makeup look please don't wear this to school i wish i didn't wear so much makeup to school but then also it was artistic expression and my housemate robin she works from home but she works in her room and i've overtaken the lounge area i don't know it's definitely an adjustment but whatever but that's why i've been so crap with youtube like uh, honestly i'm so sorry i don't want to be one of those youtubers it's like oh my god guys I haven't seen you in ages i haven't sat down for ages i really don't want to be like that but it's quite difficult when i was just adjusting to working again but now i feel like my schedule's gonna i just got a little bit of kick up the, up the arse I don't feel as mentally drained. I'm getting back into it. Also, the change of season. Like, I don't have SAD. Obviously, I'm not saying I have SAD. If you know what that is, seasonal affective disorder. But I think everyone naturally, as the days get darker and seasons change, like, you do feel a little down. Like, summer, the boost of vitamin D makes us feel amazing. So, I don't know, the winter, it can be difficult. I always feel weird in September. Like, the end of September, I always have this weird, like, sad feeling. I don't know, it's horrible. Which is going to be amplified as well, because because of like the new lockdown, the new curfew rules or whatever. Ah, but yeah, I'm not here to moan. I want to be positive. I want to be a positive force on here. But also this is a life update. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be real. I'll tell you how I'm feeling. If you watched my sleek video, I discovered my new fave, which is a life proof concealer. This doesn't look too much. The thing with doing school and work makeup is just, yeah, pop a little bit, accentuate your features rather than completely covering them. I miss wearing nice outfits to work. That was my main thing, especially because we work in like a fashion office. It's quite appropriate to always go in wearing a really cool outfit. And I just miss that. Like now I feel like I really need to start using up my clothes more because otherwise they're not going to get worn this year. I'm just going to end up wearing loungewear all the time. Like I need to flex when I go on the tube, whatever. Yeah, just to cover the dark circles, make me look awake. I mean, I'm quite confident without makeup. Like, not confident as in, like, oh, I look so good. I, I know I don't look good, but I just don't really care. But whenever I don't wear it to work, not gonna lie, people will be like, oh, you look ill. Are you okay? Oh my God, are you okay? You look so tired. Like, why, who, what gives people the right to comment on your appearance for a start? It's actually just rude. Like, just get a grip. If I'm telling you I'm tired, that's fair enough. But I don't know. We shouldn't have to apologize for how we look. I've been reading this book. You've probably heard of it, Women Don't Owe You Pretty, and it's opened my eyes. And it's just so true, like, why do we feel the need to do full face and makeup, look amazing, just to even be heard in an office? Like, whereas you feel like you're unprofessional if you turn up natural, like, why? We don't, we don't owe anyone that. It's, we can just turn up as we are. I don't know. It's got me thinking about stuff. I'd love to know if you guys follow me, just popping powder on. If you guys have gone back to work, like, what is going on? It's so weird being off furlough. How are you finding it? That's the base makeup, just pretty natural, nothing too crazy. Brows, I've been obsessed with this Benefit product brow microfilling pen. Look, it's a little comb and it looks like hairs. It looks like you've got yours microbladed. See, you just push it in, like, it's super, super easy to use. I really love it. I'm gonna do the other brow off camera now because it's just boring as hell. Brows are on and yeah, I don't know why I'm putting off talking about this. Like I want to be more vulnerable on camera and just like talk to you guys about, I don't know, deep stuff, personal stuff, but it is hard. Like I do feel like I'm quite open on here, but there's some things that are just, there's some things you don't want to like tell the whole internet and also it's just respectful 
of the other person involved. But oh, why do I have to burp at? Why do I have to burp at a dramatic moment? I'm also putting on Nars Laguna for the contour. I have been going through a really, really hard, shitty breakup. Okay, this summer and haven't really spoke about it on here it's just i don't know I, i'm kind of someone that i throw myself into work instead of to distract myself and instead of moping and feeling sad that's just how i am it's 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 a good way of dealing with things but also any distraction is unhealthy like with breakups you do sometimes need to just like slow down and feel sad and i do feel like it's all hitting me at once i thought i was okay and now i'm just i don't know i am really struggling and i think I don't know, I just want to come on here for any of you that are going through a breakup, like, they're hard anyway, but going through it during COVID is, like, amplified, you know, so, I don't know, it's, it's just sad and difficult and, I don't know, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't want to get upset, it's really hard to talk about it on here, um, obviously I'm not gonna go to the ins and outs, like, I'm not, I'm gonna be respectful to the other person, I don't need to air our dirty laundry on here like for people to pull apart like it's not I just I don't want to do that that's not why I'm doing this it's because I want to talk about how I'm feeling about a breakup and hoping that it helps you guys because I know my favorite youtubers when they talk about things they're going through that are similar to me like I find it really helpful so that's why I'm doing it I'm just a little water sign a little Pisces that is way too caring and way too wanting to help people is that a word yeah it's a blessing and also my downfall at times <laughs> you know that's why I have my solve it series I love helping people giving advice whatever but when it comes to taking my own I'm really really bad it's very hard when your emotions are involved but I feel like this is very good for me and it will be good for me when I actually heal but right now it's hard to see that I just I don't know I've realized a lot of things obviously I'm 24 I'm gonna be 25 why well, I say I'm gonna be 25 I'm not gonna be 25 for a good few months but I've had a lot of relationships like I've been in a lot of long-term relationships like back to back with barely any time being single and I am I'm a relationship person I'm a hopeless romantic I I love yeah I love love I like being with someone I definitely think I'm more of a relationship person however I I can see similar patterns happening in every relationship and how I feel and I just think something's not right clearly I need to take myself away be mature and actually think do I need a relationship right now probably not like I need to go on a self-growth journey I need to heal I need to just work out what I really want and I need that time to myself to focus on my goals to like yeah just grow as a fucking human being and there's it's hard like becoming self-aware about your own shit and how maybe things you do can be toxic it's hard not a lot of people can own up and not a lot of people want to grow but i think if you do then yeah at the end of the day you are all you are all you have in life and i just need to love myself more i don't want to need someone ever again like i i want someone to add to my life to be a bonus whereas there's been times when i definitely leaned on the person i was with and maybe over dependent and i never i can fucking put my hand on my heart say i would never be in a dependent relationship ever again in my life like no 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 I just need to get strong and get through this. Where's my bronzer? I feel like I'm chatting so much shit and not even doing my bronzer. Yeah, that is where I'm at. I think I've just, a big thing for me is, and I'm gonna be honest, it sounds so bad, but the needing of male validation. Like I'm, I really wanna break that cycle. Like I just, why do I care so much? Why why do I want boy attention? Why, why do I need that? Like what what is that doing for me? What hole am I trying to fill by chatting to people and stuff? Like why do I need, I, I don't know do you guys know what i'm saying like we don't need boyfriends we should want them and yeah it's a hard time being alone it is i'm not gonna lie and say it's amazing especially during covid it feels like we can't do all the things you would normally do when you're single like you'd be like i'm going out with my girlfriends like, we well, can but only till 10 p.m <laughs> you can only be a slag until 7 p.m and then you gotta go home and be a good girl <laughs> you can't do that so it feels lonely but in a way it probably is better because if i was out every night drinking again i'll just be masking over the problem but i'm actually sitting i'm in my feelings and it's i don't know it's it's a hard journey but i'll get through it you know and if anyone you who are watching this are also going through a breakup like honestly i understand it's bloody hard it's bloody hard but hopefully we can get through it and come out the other side i mean we're not the only people to ever go through breakups it's just 
takes the wind out of you. What can I say? Yeah, it, it, it takes the wind out of you. I'm still waiting for the glow up. Like, where is my post breakup glow up? It has not happened yet. I feel like everyone else is, I think it's a social media thing. You see a girl and you're like, oh, she's glowing. Like, woo. She's doing so much better after the breakup. Like, that has not happened for me yet. And I'm waiting patiently, babes. This product is so good for a natural look. It's battered, sorry. The Glossier um, Cloud Paint in Beam. You really don't need a lot, but because this looks like, it looks like a little, a natural flush on your cheeks rather than a big block of powder blush. But you, yeah, you want it to sort of look like you're just naturally blushing. And right, so obviously I am single now, but I'm not like describing myself as single girl, like woo out on the town dating. Like I'm not single as in I'm, I'm single and looking, single Pringle ready to mingle. I'm single as in I'm on my own and that's okay and I'm learning to live with it and I'm learning to love myself. Yeah, I'm like learning to have a relationship with myself. Like Sadie, come on girl, we can get through this. I saw this really cute quote and it was like, be your own best friends and be your own boyfriend, whatever. And it was like, take yourself to coffee, take yourself on dates, take a, be your own gym buddy. It's so true. Like we need to be there for ourselves more. We shouldn't have to seek everything from other people. It's so powerful doing things on your own. And also like, I'm sorry, I actually do not know how to date. I don't, oh, the thought of it makes me feel sick. Like the thought of going on a dating app is actually scary. I'm just popping a little bit on the nose. Like I need to work out what I like. I mean, it's fun and it's, it's a chance to really whittle down, find out what I like and just have fun. And already the best part, the best thing I've noticed is how much closer I feel to all my girl mates and girl friends. And I definitely closed myself off from a lot of things because just naturally when you're in a relationship, you're like at the weekend you do stuff with them. And if your friends ask you sometimes you're like, well, I'm busy. And then you keep saying that so many times, people stop inviting you to things and people don't think of you for things because they just assume you're going to be together. Whereas when you're open and single, I feel like you lose that person that you chat to all day, every day. Like it, that's, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, that is a really hardest knock you take and it's sad. And you know, when something happens, you, you don't have someone to tell, but then I realized I could just tell my friends. So I'm very sorry to any of my friends who are watching this. They're probably like, she won't leave us alone. Someone please date her because she's obsessed with us now. I'm always messaging and it's it's nice. It's, it's nice to feel that I haven't had that for many years and it's nice to just feel around girls or whatever. And obviously I have you on YouTube here helping me out, supporting me. Do <laughs> you lips, pillow talk, 100% is the most cutest, naturalist lip liner that makes them look bigger because I'm always trying to plump them up. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna be honest, I have considered getting lip fillers. I had them years ago and I did really like them, but probably like three, two and a half years ago now. So they're completely gone. I really want them, but my mum will freak if she's watching this because sometimes she watches my videos, she's gonna be there on the TV like, the tattoos were enough. I don't think I can do it. So I'm gonna rely on lip liner to give me the extra boost I need at the moment. Look at the difference. Also, I'm really trying to get back into manifesting and my crystals and I just want the good vibes. Vibes. I want the good vibes around me. So I'm gonna try and get back into manifesting because there were some things, it was crazy. There was things I manifested and they happened within days. I'm not saying I manifested a million pounds, like it was all reachable things, but it was crazy. And it's just good to come back to every month and think, wow, like that actually did happen. So I wanna bring positive stuff into my life. So I treat myself, I say that, I feel like I always treat myself to the new Madison beer Morphe collection because you know what, Morphe is actually quite affordable and it's not a place I shop at regularly. Like I don't remember the last time I ordered anything from them. So I got a little lip gloss and the palette. Oh, the palette. I know I'm meant to be doing a natural makeup look, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna dip into this because, oh, look at it. It's just a gorgeous, gorgeous for autumn actually. It's all like those neutrally tones, the shimmers. Really, I'm just hoping it turns me into Madison beer. But let's try this lip color because I thought it'll go. And I feel like a lip gloss or a little shimmer. Sometimes I just wear lip balm to work, but for the sake of the video. That packaging is bomb. Love that. Oh, it's got a sweet smell. Oh, this color is called Venus. It's like a dusky, a dusky rose. Mmm. Oh, it's darker than I thought it was gonna be, not gonna lie. It was the darkest one. It's more of a lip color rather than like a lip topper gloss. Pretty though, nice for autumn. It doesn't feel sticky and it's like not opaque, but not sheer. Yeah, I would definitely wear this to work or with a nice smoky eye. So impressed with the Madison Beer collection. Also, what's really sad? I'm just not ready, I'm not ready. My housemate is moving out, Becca is moving out. It's so sad, like it's nothing serious because we're advertising the room already. I put it on Instagram and I had a few comments like, 
what did you do to her? She just moved in. And I'm like, I know, it's not me. It's not me. I mean, come on. I'm a delight. I'm an absolute delight to live with. I'll, I'll be honest. I'm a bit annoying, but I'm nice. So she's just been offered like cheaper rent with one of her friends. And I mean, anyone, come on. Anyone would do it. I would. It's a bit bright for every day, isn't it? Oh, I can't be asked. So I just want to chat about my life. I don't even care anymore. But I do find a liquid highlighter is more of like a dewy glow rather than a sort of block of glitter. Still fine for every day. It will, it will tone down. It will, it will tone down. So she was so scared to tell us. Like it is really sad because I take a while to warm to people. Like I feel like I can get on with everyone, but I connect with very little people. Like I, I'm easy to chat to, but it's like. If for me to genuinely really like someone and want to be friends with them, that's quite hard. And she was one of those people, and it's not like we'll never see her, she's only moving to like the next sort of borough. Borough? Borough? But it's just, it's just the stress of finding someone new when you just felt settled and I don't really like change and it's just like all this change is happening and I can't handle it but you know I'm gonna stay positive, who knows, this new person might be my next best friend and of course I still have Robin so I'm so grateful for that. So just like this, if, if, if I'm filming in my room and they're working from home I don't want to feel awkward but how do I tell that to someone who's moving in? There's a few people that are interested that I know so we've got viewings tonight and we've got some viewings tomorrow so hopefully Hopefully we find someone that I get on with because to me it's not just someone I live with like that that's a big part of your life the person you're around all the time living in the house it's a big deal for me you know on my little advert I put you gotta like selling sunset you gotta like Kardashians you gotta like bottomless brunches you know I, I'm not I don't ask for a lot purely for selfish reason 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 <laughs> I'm gonna use the Madison beer palette so I haven't actually tried it yet but just for every day to work, I wouldn't really wear eyeshadow. Sometimes what I do is run like a my bronzer into my crease, a little definition. Let's just go into like the orange one, neutral one, and let's pick up that pigment. Let's get bring you in closer. Closer. Ooh. Hello, pigment. Hello, honey. How are you? So yeah, please send me positive vibes for my life is a bit of a mess right now and my ex was flaring up, but it's absolutely fine okay i always find you probably find as well whenever one part of your life goes good the rest goes shit you know like gone back to work finally career girl again and then it's like my house it moves out and then it'll be like youtube's going good but then for a breakup so you can never have it all no one has it all so we just have to live in the moment and be grateful and i'm trying to just plan stuff trying to meet up with people like trying to make new friends in london because all my closest closest dearest little friendlings live far bristol zani lives away even camelin she lives other side of london so just have to make a little bit more effort which is fine but i would love to meet as well some new people that live around here some like single girls i can hang out with let's go with this color Oh, pretty, pretty. Like a nice sort of autumnally gold. And now I plan to film body confidence chat today for Sadie Solves It, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not feeling very confident in myself. I mean, what is new? What is new with me? <laughs> no one can feel confident all the time. You don't understand. Like when I have Prosecco in me, oh, I really like that pigment. Yeah, as I was saying, when I have Prosecco in me, I genuinely think I am Bay or Britney. Like I just, I feel so good. It's dutch courage it's liquid luck whatever you want to call it but day to day i'm just your average gal the little champagne color in the inner corner i don't have anything else to really update you on that was it i mean that's quite a lot gone back to work going for a breakup and whatever else you know new housemate it's gonna be a crazy month what are we all doing for halloween do we want to see any halloween inspired videos do we even care about dressing up this year do we even need to dress up this year like where are we going i guess we can go out until 10 like are people gonna go to like bottomless brunches or bars i really want to do something halloween is like my favorite time of year like it's the one night a year a girl gets to be a total slut i know it <laughs> well you can if you want but do what you want so what are we like what's what's going on I like New Year's, we're gonna have to go home at 10. Surely not, surely he's not. You can't do that, can you? It's gonna have to be till 12 to New Year's. I really like that brown shade. Just a little matte liner. I mean, why not at this point? And we might as well do going out makeup. <laughs> Just using a flat brush and then let's got some mascara on and I promise I will shut up. I don't even know what this video was, but it's nice to actually sit down and chat to you guys. Oh, also what else can I talk about? So I come off the peel. I came off the pill, the contraceptive pill, and I've been very vocal about why I did that. It's 
Honestly, I feel so much better in myself ever since I did, but I noticed weird, like some weird side effects. I'm using the Kat Von D Go Big or Go Home mascara. If you like big lashes, please go with this. And it's kind of appropriate for every day because they're like wispy. Does that make sense? The biggest thing is I've lost my boobs. Oh my God, why have they gone down like a, cu a whole cup size? I'm like, oh, I had so many bras. So I don't want them to get too, and I feel like, not like I've lost weight, but I just look weird. I look don't look the same, which is kind of annoying. Like I feel like my whole personality was based around having biggish boobs. <laughs> so now I'm like, oh, I don't know. I don't know who I am. Who am I without them? Who is that girl I see? <laughs> but yeah, my moods were so much better. So obviously, two of my, two of my, TMI, but my periods have been fine, luckily, because I know a lot of people when they come off the pill said they didn't get a period for like, I don't know, years. So mine was absolutely fine. I mean, that's fine because I'm not going to be having like, let's be honest, sex anytime soon. So let's not worry about it. But also, why is there such a stigma about boys wearing condoms? Like, when did we suddenly make the transition from like, oh, always wear condoms to like, no, you don't wear them. You, you girls just have to have birth control. What, it isn't the protection from STDs. I get it's like protects you from pregnancy and stuff, but especially if you're going sleeping around, which is absolutely fine, but you're not protected from stuff. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't get why boys can't just wear them. Like, what is the actual issue? Like, just grow up. If you're gonna have sex, then you need to be protecting yourself, no? And yeah, I just do not like the attitude around it. And really, if you ask him to wear one and he doesn't, that's really a bad sign. That is a red flag. And I think we all need to take a stand to be honest. Like, why are we putting crap into our bodies, literally, and boys are getting away with nothing? They don't even have to wear a condom. So we're putting, we're literally like going through weight gain, acne, mood swings. People get serious health stuff from contraception, um, from like hormonal, from the hormones and things like that. And they just won't even wear a condom. And then did you hear about the male pill got made? But apparently there were too many side effects, as in the, the side effects were literally weight gain and depression. Um, hello, does, does it, is that the exact same as, oh, imagine, imagine. They wouldn't be able to handle it, bless their little cotton socks, but. And I fully know that there's a lot of weird guys following me at the moment. What, what, what are you doing here? This isn't, this wasn't for you, okay? If you're gonna be nice, fine, but if you're gonna be sexual and weird, please, please leave me alone. This is not why I made this channel. I wanted to inspire girls and their bodies. I wanted to help girls like my, who are my size dress for their like body and feel confident and like uplift girls. That's why I did the bikini haul and the underwear haul. Now, it will be a long time before I do a haul like that again because I did, I guess I've done it to myself and I shouldn't be shocked, but I didn't realize how much unwanted, weird comments and attention I would get. I've been getting p emails to my personal business email asking if I have an OnlyFans, if I'll make custom videos for a price, like, what do you want me to, what do you want a custom haul me showing my bikinis like i'm not what, what like it just made me feel shit like the, the exact opposite of what i wanted to do i don't want to be seen as a sexual being as a sex object like that's not why i do it. i feel like it's made me feel like a piece of meat to be honest and it's i know i've done it to myself and i i, I fully understand if you put your body up there on the internet you're gonna get creeps but i don't think i fully understood the level it would get to and it made me feel like just a bit a bit vile a bit grim so anyone who is being nice and all the lovely girls that follow me and like comment please honestly thank you so much because you're keeping me posting on here to be honest i think we're pretty much done anyway like i mean it's definitely more glam than i would I would. It's more glam than I would go to work, but let's just say it's a cute, natural, everyday look if you wear makeup. Yeah, let's just leave it at that. But thank you so, so much for watching and thank you for 20k. It's still insane. It's insane that 20k of you, 20,000 of you subscribe to me. Like what? Like I did not think that my channel would get to this point from starting it in May, but mm, thank you so much. Have a lovely week and let me know what other videos you want to see. And girls, we got this. Okay, we got this. Mwah.